Hello everyone, and welcome to the second week of Season of the Dawn, and we've got two more obelisks to have a little look at. So we've got a brief guide coming up of how to unlock them, which is pretty easy, but a couple of quick tips on how to do that. And then we're going to look at what you can get from each obelisk, including the weapons, and also the bounties, and the uh, mods. So without further ado, let's ado. A Jew? Yeah, let's bag her off. So the first obelisk we're going to have a look at, the new one, is the one on Nessus. So from the landing zone, you just have to jump up directly behind you onto the ledge, and there you go, you can see the first obelisk there. And as is the case, it's knackered, so we've got to try and fix it before it'll work. Now in order to fix it, for some strange reason, we have to shoot Vex in the face and use their undamaged Vex parts to uh, repair the obelisk. So if you're looking for a nice concentration of Vex to do this in, there's a lost sector on Artifact's Edge called the Orrery. Uh, go in there and uh, just dish death until you pick up all the parts you need. And also, if you do do a finisher, you usually get three extra parts instead of the one. It might not come on the finisher, it might come just after. But there we go, that's done nice and quick. So then you return to the obelisk, and the next thing we have to do is get orbs of light and kills with our super and our abilities. Little tip on the weapon front here for collecting orbs of light. Make sure you use a masterwork weapon, because one of the standard traits of all masterwork weapons is that they drop extra extra orbs on multi-kills. So you may as well have one of them in your arsenal while you're waiting for your abilities and your super to charge up. And then once that's done, real what one kind of run of the orrery again, yes. But it's nice and easy and compact, you see. And they're all there, it's quite quick to get to, and it's just from a drop zone, so you may as well go and use it. Okay, with that step done, go back to the obelisk, and it's attuned. And for attuning it, you get 100 Fractaline, which is quite nice. And as you know, Fractaline is the lifeblood of upgrading the obelisks. Now, you need to upgrade the obelisk beyond level 1, first of all, in order to get access to the bounties, the buffs, and also the weapon bounties. So let's have a quick run-through of the bounties. You've basically got to kill Vex anywhere in the system, and also get 60 Void Ability kills, which is pretty easy to do. I've basically tied them up with doing runs of the Sundial as well, because you do get quite a lot of Vex in the Sundial. And also, well, just use your Void stuff. Though they're worth 100 Fractaline each. As for weapon bounties, at this current level, you can only get the uh, Jack Queen King 3, which is a hand cannon. You've also got the Patron of Lost Causes Scout Rifle, which comes with a, a new perk called Vorpal Weapon, which increases damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. So it might come in handy in PvP when you're being stomped down by a titan flinging flaming hammers at you. Anyway, good idea for a perk. Then the final weapon we've got in the weapons pool is the Traveler's, Traveler's Judgment 5, which is a sidearm. It's uh, an adaptive frame and it's 491 rounds per minute, so it's quite a nice little sidearm and I have used it a couple of times. I'm really getting into sidearms, you know. Anyway, moving on to the uh, buffs that you can buy. As you've probably noticed the pattern by now, the first one uh, is a planetary material multiplier, which gets the extra things to drop. But the next one is pretty interesting. It's for extra fractaline, which of course we all bloody need, and if you get that one, you can get it to drop during the sundial. And what I love about Destiny is that you can tie in various things all together. So you can tie that in with doing a bounty, you can tie that in with getting the weapons from the weapon pool, and now you can also get more fractaline whilst you're doing it. And I have had an extra 10 drop here, I had a couple of 100 drop during a match as well, so it does work and it's well worth getting. The next one increases the number of uh, time lost weapons frame bounties you can hold and this last one increases the progression rate of your time lost weapon frames by 25% so another nice way to get the rolls for the weapons that you like. Okay, moving on to the armor mods, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the Season of Do season of Dodds, Season of Dawn mods are, uh, I've got a lot of elements to them. For example, this one's got an, a main perk and a secondary perk, and the secondary perk only becomes active if there's an arc mod socketed into the armor, the same piece of armor as the mod, obviously. And this one's got plus 20 mobility, which is nice. And the main perk, of course, is if you're charged with light near by allies also get charged with light, so that's pretty useful. So this next one is a solar mod and it's called Charged Up and it basically allows for an additional stack of Charged with Light. 
So there you go. And this last mod is called Stack on Stacks. And so you gain an extra stack of charge with light for every stack you gain. So it sounds like buy one, get one free on charges of light there. So all in all, pretty good, well, for charges of light. Now, before we move on to the EDZ, it's worth remembering a couple of things. It's 200 fractaline to put each uh, obelisk up to the next level. Once you do get it up to the next level, you do get a uh, time-lost engram, and that has the chance for some of the weapons from the uh, n obelisk's weapon pool to drop, so that's worth remembering. And second of all, one of the really good things you can do is link more than one obelisk into the sundial loot pool. So at the moment, most of us have just got one linked in. But if you want to be able to do it manually, that means by upgrading the obelisk, you need to upgrade it 11 times. Now that's a hell of a lot of fractaline. But if you do have this month's uh, season pass, on level 12, you'll notice you get a free extra sundial activation doodah thingy-majig. There you go, called signal strength. It permanently increases the capacity of this connection to the sundial by one. So two obelisks linked in means a choice of two weapons. Uh, you can still only pick one, but later on you can actually increase the amount of weapons that you can get as well. So it all starts tying in the more you play, and it's definitely something that will improve as time goes on. But unfortunately, as we all know, at the end of the season, all this is going to go away, so start putting the work in now. Time to move on to the EDZ. Now we land in the uh, Gulch landing zone, and there you can see the buggered up uh, obelisk is sitting right there. So again, what you have to do is get 50, well, 50 objects from nearby enemies. In this case, it's Cabal Armor. So go around shooting the Cabal in the face until you uh, get the requisite amount that you need. It's quite handy, basically, around where the uh, EDZ obelisk is. There's quite a few Cabal around in the gulch, particularly if the enemy moves against each other. It's quite nice uh, to get it, but you can also pop up to the Sunken Isles. That's got quite a few Cabal up in that area, too. Now then, once you've got this 50, you return to the obelisk and got the next bit, you need to get charges of light. Yep, it's exactly the same as on Nessus. So, like you say, you get ability kills and super kills and masterworked weapon kills, which increases the chance of dropped orbs. Now, my favourite weapon at the moment is the Risk Runner. Here's a little link to my Risk Runner video. Go and watch it, it's great. But, uh, while I was uh, gathering the orbs, there you go, I got it there, the enemy moved against one another and they started pouring out of this little cave here. And there was just millions of them. And I stopped. I thought, oh, should I stop? No, I'm enjoying this too much. And I just murdered thousands upon thousands of fallen as they came wandering out. Look at them. Look at it all. They're just dropping so much stuff and I'm just killing them again and again. God, I bloody loved it. Anyway, that done. Back to the obelisk and shove your light in. And now we can have a look and see what's what. Now, I don't know if any of you have noticed, but this obelisk is 90% bust. That means it's broken half the time. So you've got to go to orbit and come back again, and go to orbit and come back again until you can actually get into the bloody thing. But once you do it and attune it, you get your fractaline. And don't forget then, in order to be able to access the bounties and the time frame bounties and also all the, uh, all the buffs, you need to stick it up to level one. So the uh, bounties, we've got three birds and one stone. Now this one's a bit tricky. It's scout rifles and you've got to get more than three kills at once in order to get it to count up. Now the best way I found to do this was to go and do the escalation protocol, particularly the first wave which has got loads and loads of thrall on it, and then I used the symmetry, you know, which is the auto firing new um, uh, exotic scout rifle that you've got, and that pretty much got it really, really quickly. And this second one called Careful Aim, there's no quick way to do that really, it's just shooting Cabal in the head with a bow, 125 of them. Okay, and as for time lost weapon frames, we've got the last Perdition, which is a lovely little uh, pulse rifle, and then we've also got Infinite Paths 8, I haven't had one of these yet, so I'm looking to add that to my arsenal very soon, and then finally we've got the Gallant Charge Fusion Rifle, which I bloody love, and it makes such a wonderful noise when it shoots, and I love the way the lights build up when you're looking down the sights to charge it, and it does make a very different kind of noise too, and of course, it's absolutely gorgeous, so uh, I'd recommend getting this one. Okay, moving on down to the buffs, and we've got a Dusk Light Extractor Level 1, which is uh, the EDZ uh, planetary material. And then the next thing with the Fractaline one this time is on strikes. So if you do a lot of strikes, then that's the one worth getting. 
And then we've got Time Lost Stasis, which permanently increases the progression of all Time Lost Weapon frames by 10%. And then this one is very good, Temporal Slipstream. This one means you can claim more than one reward on each completion of the sundial. So that, in tandem with more than one obelisk tied to the sundial, is going to make for really efficient farming. So that's where we're all gonna head. As for mods, we've got the uh, Precisely Charge, which means you become charged with light by getting multiple rapid precision final blows with linear fusions and uh, linear sniper... linear sniper rifles? <laughs> Just normal sniper rifles, really. But that's minus 10 discipline. Mm, I hate these minus 10 things. I think they're a load of bollocks. Okay, the next one we've got is Quick Charge. Now, this has got a secondary perk on it as well, which greatly increases the uh, ready speed of fusion rifles, shotguns, submachine guns, and swords. And that only becomes active if you've got that slotted in with an arc mod in the same bit of armor. So much the same as the ones on the EDZ. And the main perk is becoming charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple enemies with fusion rifles or shotguns so there you go that's quick charge moving on to the next one and this one's called blast radius become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple enemies with grenade launchers or rocket launchers and there you go oh and they're all 10 mod components each to buy so useful or not you decide i don't know if i like the look of some of those that seem a bit sort of meh so the EDZ obelisk caters towards vanguard activities, basically, in the same way that the Nessus one caters towards the menagerie and the sundial activities. Uh, I think I'm going to be upgrading my Nessus one first, to be honest, uh, and see where we go from there. I'm just going to pop a card up on the screen here if you want to go and see my video on the obelisks for about the Tangled Shore and Mars, because they do give you the same handy information that I've given you here. And a subscribe would be really appreciated, and a like or a dislike and a comment, you know, give me some fuel for the fire. Right then, remember, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Take care, Guardians. See you soon. Time sausages. Gaming channel.